Hi, Vineyard family and friends. Once again, a very happy new year to you. We're really excited about what God has in store for us as a collective church family this year. We can't wait to see you next week, Sunday the 16th of January at 8.30 a.m. Just a reminder, we only have one morning service and the cafe is open before and after the service so we have as much time together to fellowship, connect with one another. So what we're doing today is just quickly touching base with you, having a quick moment to say, how's it? Hope you're having a fantastic holiday. So this is just us saying, we're really excited to see you this year. We're really excited to see what God has in store for us. And most importantly, we're really excited to be used by God to see his kingdom advance in us and through us. Let's make 2022 a year where we see more people come to faith in Jesus, where we see more breakthrough in lives that we've ever seen before, and we see the victory of God breaking through into the chaos of these last few years. See you next week. Here's Pips with some Kids Church thoughts, followed by Brett with some other thoughts for us as a church family. Hey everyone, I'm Pips and I thought I'd quickly pop in because I'm really missing you all. I hope you're having a fantastic holiday, but can I be really honest, I'm missing you all kids. We had so much fun last year and this year is going to be epic. So I wanted to give you a quick sneak peek into a little bit about what we're gonna be doing in Kids Church this year. Are you ready? Now, an item is being sent up to us right now. Okay, uh, all right. Okay, it's on its way up, so just hold on a sec. And it's going to give us a clue about what we're gonna do. Are you ready? Let me see. Guys, guys, we're, we're, we're shooting, we're, we're, we're online. Where is it? Okay. It's almost here, kids. There it comes through the door. Oh my goodness. Hmm, a globe. The world is spinning pretty fast right now, isn't it? This is our clue, kids. We are going to be learning about what it means to be a kid in different parts of the world and what it means to be a Jesus follower in those places. We're going to learn about different countries, about what it's like to live there, what kind of food they eat, but most importantly, what it's like to be a Jesus follower in those places. And we are going to have so much fun with this over the year. The whole Kids Church team is really excited about this. I just about can't sleep at night because I'm so excited about it. And I hope you are also excited for this amazing journey we're going to go on this year in Kids Church. We can't wait to learn more about Jesus with you. We can't wait to grow more, to be like Jesus with you. And we get to do it all together. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that so special, kids? So can't wait to see you next week at church as we start this exciting journey. Catch you later. Good morning. It's good to see you. Well, it's good to be seen, I suppose. Thanks, Pips, for that amazing Kids Church a uh, little sp splurb. We really appreciate it. And I hope you're all resting and enjoying your time at home. It's a new day. And it means that there's new opportunities for all of us to do what Jesus would do to those near and around him. You know, regardless of the hurried, self-centered world that we live in, there is still opportunity for each of us to do something that Jesus would do. You know what he would do? He would do something kind. He would, he would do something loving. He would do something helpful. That's what Jesus would do. So here's my question. What would you do? Jesus said this, do to others whatever you would like them to do to you. In other words, the thumb rule for all of us should be this. Ask yourself, what would you want people to do for you? And then take the initiative and do it. Just do it. In fact, the Bible says that acts of kindness are actually acts of worship that please God. Listen to what the scripture says. Don't forget to do good and to share with those who are in need. These are sacrifices that please God. It's a new day and the new day gives us new opportunities for each of us to do what Jesus would do for those near and around him. So let's just do it. And I know this, that whatever good thing you decide to do and you'd actually do it, that very thing you do pleases God. So let's pray together. Lord Jesus, give me the courage to take the opportunities around me 
to do what you would do so that the people around and near me can be blessed and so that you will be pleased. Amen. So we're, we're excited about 2022. I know there's no prediction on what 2022 could be like, but we live by faith and we walk by faith. And so this is a great opportunity for us to make spaces in our hearts for God and our lives for God. This is a great space for us to uh, open our hearts up for one another to, to become community. And that's what I mentioned last week, we are really at the heart of all that we are is a community of faith that learn to live life together, to practice one another. And there are opportunities for each one of us to do something spectacular for God in our own lives. So let's hold our faith together. Let's encourage one another. We are so expectant about this coming year that God would pour out His Spirit upon us but let's be new wineskins for the Spirit of God to invade so that we could be new wine in a world that is desperate to taste the goodness of God. So be there next week. We, we are ready to see you next week. We love you. See you soon. Ciao.